Our EB23 UQ emergency battery backup units keep the lights on when the power goes out. The units can be configured with a variety of Lightronics products. This video is to help you visualize the common installation steps. It does not substitute for the instruction manual shipped with your EB23 UQ series unit. We will focus on setting our unit's dip switch and the key wiring steps needed before turning on the power. If these steps are improperly done, you risk reduced brightness, less than 90 minutes of light output or even damage to the battery backup unit itself. Today we will show our battery backup in a 2x4 troffer with a Lytronics magnetic retrofit. The steps we will show are key to any installation. Before installing and configuring the EBB, we would remove the lens, disconnect the power and remove the junction box cover to expose the wiring. When you receive the unit, you will first need to remove the sleeve and open the cover. The retrofit part number is printed on the end of the product itself. Today we are working with an RF50 UQT450DL in an application without a switch or a separate dimmer. The dip switch is located inside the EBB unit. Select the matching dip switch setting from the installation manual. In factory default setting, position 2 is set to on. We will turn that off and switch on position 5. Place the battery backup unit in the troffer, close to the opening for the incoming power lines. The powerful rare earth magnets will hold the EBB to the troffer, allowing you to adjust the positioning later if needed. As mentioned, the wiring varies with the retrofit selected. Please follow the wiring diagrams in your installation manual carefully. First, connect the purple and grey wires labelled to 0 to 10 volt retrofit from the EB23 to the corresponding wires from the LED retrofit or luminaire using the wire nuts provided. Backup power lighting rarely uses dimming, so the wires for the dimmer are tucked inside the EB23 UQ case for selective use. Plug the Wago connector with the white and black-white AC lines on the EBB to the corresponding connector from the retrofit unit. Connect the two halves of the multi-pin battery connector within the EB23 UQ. Make the final connection between the white and black power lines on the EBB to the uninterrupted power lines from the building. Connect the red switch wire to the back of the power connector. Connect green to ground. Place the junction box over the wires and connectors and screw it into position. Now, secure the unit to the troffer using the self-tapping screws provided with the EB23UQ. Replace lid and secure. Now you can replace the lens cover and restore the power. I hope you found these configuration tips helpful. Again, please refer to your installation manual for specific directions and for proper maintenance routines. Lytronics. Innovation simplified.